Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of utilities, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to read the data from the Excel files. So let's get started. So this session is all about uh, gaining some knowledge of how to write the Python code for reading the data from the Excel files. Later, this knowledge will use uh, in our frameworks, okay, while creating the data-driven frameworks where uh, there is a real need of reading the data for, from Excel files into our Selenium Python script that will be covered later. In this session, just focus on gaining knowledge on how to read the data from the Excel files using Python code, okay? So let me get started. So here are the steps we have to follow, okay, with for practical demonstration. So for that, I'll first uh, switch to this PyCharm ID and create a new project uh, just for the demonstration. So I'll just name this project as uh, Excel file reading, okay? Or reading from Excel file, reading from Excel, okay? Like this, I'll just give the name of the project and click on create. It will ask you new window or this window, I'll say, okay? So let's wait for the project to get created and we'll get this main.python file in that we are going to write some code. Uh, let's clear this stuff. And before I write any code here in Python for reading the data from the Excel files, let me create that Excel file from where I would like to read the data from. So I'll go to one location in my machine uh, where I can find some space and you can see that I'm creating an Excel file. Right click here, select new and select Microsoft Excel workbook and just name this uh, with your project name or something. Okay. Let's say tutorials ninja is a project. Let's assume this application name I'm giving. You can give any name, that's okay. Just open this Excel file. This is a sample Excel file I'm creating from which I'm going to read the data from. First, I have to enter the data, right? So here I'll give the uh, column name as username and here uh, this one as password, okay? Double click here so it will resize properly and give the sheet name. Don't forget to give the sheet name. Give the sheet name as login test or something. Let's say this data I'm preparing for uh, testing the login functionality. And here I would like to give some sample data here. Let's say I'll give some sample email. Okay, go to recap nine at the rate gmail.com. This is one email address and I have to give some password also. I'll say second is the password. Okay. And here a go to recap uh, three at the rate gmail.com. Here I'll give some password like a pass demo is a password. Okay. Then here I'll give one more email address. Able to recap one at the rate gmail dot any sets of data, any number of sets of data you can enter in this. Uh, okay, here and here I'll give that as uh, one one demo. Okay, some different passwords I'm giving just for the sake. I'll just it's not compulsory that you have to give borders and all, but I'm giving so that it look good. Will look good. Okay, now save this. Okay, I have prepared some test data here for the login for testing the login functionality. Though I'm not going to create any Selenium Python scripts, but yeah, assume that uh, this is the data for testing the login functionality. Just save this file, close it, and now the file is ready. So I'll go to the project and uh, under this, uh, you know, project, I'll create a folder. Okay. Let's say Excel files. Okay. There is a folder like Excel files under which I'll copy this uh, and paste it here. I'll paste the Excel file here so that it will be available under the Excel files of this project. Now, Excel file is ready. Now what I have to do is I have to read, okay, data from this particular Excel file with the help of this Python program. Here I'm going to write some Python code using which I would like to read the data from the Excel file. But Python doesn't, uh, Python by default doesn't have any capability of reading the data from the Excel files. We have to install one package known as OpenPy Excel. Okay, this is a package we have to install. Okay, how to install? There are different ways. Uh, one way to install is go to the terminal and uh, just say here pip install open Pi Excel. You see, just confirm open Pi Excel, right? Press enter. So this, uh, this without this package, Python cannot do anything. Okay, this is a package for uh, you know dealing with Excel files. It's now installing this open Pi Excel. Uh, we are installing from terminal. For uh, for uh, you know for uh, double check and all double confirmation, I'll select this project. Click on file settings. I'll select this project. Under the project, we'll have this Python interpreter. Now click on place and here type open pi excel. You'll get this open pi excel and simply install from here also for double confirmation. 
so this may work fine terminal installation may work fine but sometimes you know i came across some situations uh, earlier where you know the terminal was not working this was working this was not working terminal was working so i better every time i install some packages right apart from the terminal i also install from this uh, pycham id options okay just to double check and confirm okay that's not required for always okay for everyone always so now here after installing that uh, package that is required for reading the data from the excel files now let's write some code okay uh, along with the python code we are going to get this uh, uh, code library things from this you know open py excel also so let's start open py excel okay dot now hold the mode on this open py excel and import it, it from that uh, package whatever we have installed so far open py dot uh, load workbook first we have to load the work workbook means this excel file how to load that in the double quotes give the name of uh, give the location where this file is available so under the project directly under the project we have this uh, excel files folder under that under that we have this uh, tutorials ninja dot xlsx file okay tutorials ninja dot xlsx file this will return you the workbook okay workbook now we have got the workbook that is excel file we have named it that workbook now with the help of workbook, we have to get the sheet name. Uh, we have to get the sheet from the workbook. In that particular workbook, uh, when I created, right, I created one sheet like this test logging sheet, right? If you want to confirm it again, you can double click and open. In that Excel, in this Excel workbook, there is a sheet created that is a test a login test. Okay, this is the name. You can copy this if you want. Close this. Okay, and here give that uh, sheet name, and it will return you the sheet. We got the sheet name. That's it. Workbook of login test is a sheet. We got the required sheet. So I would like to find out in that particular sheet how many rows are there, how many columns are there. For that, we have some comments. With the help of sheet, I can say uh, have to write one command like a uh, max row. Okay, max row is a command. Max row. I think we should not give circular bracket. Sorry. Uh, sheet dot max row. This will give you total total rows in that particular sheet. How many rows are there? If you open that, you can find it out. How many rows are there? That will be found out. Found it out. How many rows are there? One, two, three, four. Total four rows. Four rows will be returned now. Okay. With the help of max rows, this will return four here. Then total columns is equal to sheet dot max column. Okay. Sheet dot max column. Yes. This will give you the number of columns. How many columns are there? One, two, two columns. Now we'll use it we, uh, with this right. We can uh, we can find out how many rows are there, how many columns are there. Let me print it out and see how many rows are there, how many columns are there. Total rows. Now here I'll print total columns. Total rows should be printed as four, and total columns should be reprinted as two. Now run this code and see whether this is working fine or not. Run it. You see four rows, two columns, as I mentioned. Right, it's working fine. Not only this, guys, we can also do one thing. We can get a particular sale value. For example, I would like to get this value. A motori cap3 at the rate gmail.com. I want to get from the Excel sheet. So it is at which row? One, two, third row, first column. Okay. To go to the third row, first column, you'll get this. How to get that? I'll simply say sheet dot cell of sheet that cell of give the name uh, row number. That is uh, number three is a row number. And what is a column? Column is one. Now print it out. Print off C dot cell of three one. It should get me that email address. Okay. So it's not getting me the value, right? It get me, it is getting me the cell. Cell ID it is getting. Then how to get the value? At the end, you have to say cell of three one dot value. Then it will get the value of this particular cell. Now run this. You see, now you got the value of that particular cell. Okay, this is a process. Okay, you want to get the particular value of that particular cell of that particular sheet of that particular workbook, right? Workbook, right? This is a code you have to write. Now I want to do one more thing. That is, you know, I would like to print the entire table. This entire uh, data along with the columns and all, I would like to print. For that, I would like to write a for loop. For R means row. Let's say R stands for row. Row in range of 
row stands from uh, starts from one, right? One, two, three, four. So one comma number of rows that is four. So if I give total, uh, if I give to this total rows here, there is a problem with for loop. If you remember in Python for loop, right? It starts from one till whatever the number you specify minus one. That is four means four minus one. One two three only. That's not not correct. So I have to give plus one so that this range for loop with range will work properly because it will minus one. So it's better to plus one. Okay. If if you don't remember how about this for loop in range uh, properties uh, in Python, just go and watch my previous sessions on Python in the same series in the top. Okay. You'll get to know about that. So why we are giving plus, you should understand. Okay. For C in range of inner for loop I'm creating, again, column also will start with one, one and two. Two means nothing but this total column, but the problem in the for loop is it will take total columns minus one internally. So it's better to say plus one so that two will be considered one to two. Two columns are there. Okay. Now, now we'll apply the same concept of sheet, sheet dot cell of uh, sheet dot cell of uh, you can give that uh, cell that is R comma C. Okay. You have to give the row number and column, row number and column. And say dot value, if you remember, and simply say print. There's a problem with this print, I'll tell you. To print like this, this entire uh, data from this uh, table will be, uh, this Excel file will be read as it is and printed, but it will not be printed in this tabular format. Rather, it will be printed in an abnormal way. You can see that. You see, like this first username, then password, then email, then password, then email, password, email. This is not the format I want, right? The format is, should look something like this when I print. So how to make that work? It's reading the data from the Excel file, but it's not in a proper format. So for that, I'll put a comma here and say end is equal to give some space here. And after that, if I do this and run this, every data will print it in the same line. Okay, run this. Still, it will not get the correct output. You see, username, space, password, space, email one, password one, space, email one, email two, password two, email three, password three, like that. But it's not still coming in this format. To get that in the format, what we have, what we have to do here is uh, after the inner for loop, here write down print. That's it. It will go to the new line. Okay. After every inner for loop prints, that is every one row prints, then you know you will get to the next uh, row here. Okay. Because of this, now you'll get the proper output. Run this. You see username, password. Under username you got this. Under password you got this. Okay, like this. Like this, we can print it out. Now you got it in a proper format. So this is how, these are the lot of examples I gave in this session for reading the data from the Excel files. This knowledge, if you have, then you can utilize this in the upcoming sessions uh, where you are going to use this uh, same concept of reading the data from the Excel files uh, to get that data into the Selenium Python scripts, okay? If Selenium Python scripts want to read some data from the Excel files, right, we can implement that. So in the upcoming uh, framework series and all, right, data-driven and all those stuff, I'm going to cover that. I'm going to use this knowledge of reading the data from the Excel files. So we can do a lot with Excel files, not only reading, but also writing into the Excel files. Maybe I'll try to cover that in upcoming sessions. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.